mixtures, and compounds. In this video, let's look at the differences between mixtures and compounds. For this purpose, let's take an example for mixture as a mixture of salt and sand and an example of water which is represented as H2O for a compound. Elements or compounds mixed together to form a mixture and no new compound is formed. Whereas, in the case of compounds, elements react to form new compounds. When you mix salt and sand, you get a mixture of salt and sand. You do not see any reaction happening. But to get water, hydrogen has to react with oxygen. Hydrogen burns in the presence of oxygen to form water. A mixture has a variable composition, whereas the composition in the case of compounds is always fixed. Let's come back to the example. Salt and sand mixed in different proportions to form mixture look different, but hydrogen and oxygen react with each other and always water is formed. A mixture shows the properties of the constituent substances, while in the case of compounds, the new substance formed has totally different properties. In the examples we have considered, you can easily see salt and sand with distinct boundaries, whereas hydrogen and oxygen, both of which are gases, react to form water, which is a liquid, and has different properties when compared to the reactants. In the case of a mixture, the constituents can be separated fairly easily by physical methods like handpicking, sieving or filtration. But in the case of compounds, the constituents can be separated only by chemical or electrochemical reactions. We have easier methods to separate a mixture of sand and salt, but water needs to undergo electrolysis to separate it as hydrogen and oxygen. So, we have learned the differences between a mixture and a compound.